Welcome back to Tiny Grimes Games, and this week I'm here bringing you a Hearthstone Brawl deck for the Double Death Rattler Battler Challenge. Uh, and this is a budget version of a deck that I wanted to make back when GVG came out, and I tried so hard to make the Ancestral Spirit reincarnate madness combo work, and guess what? It didn't work. But you know what? When you get double the fruits for your labor, suddenly it becomes pretty darn good. Uh, so there's all kinds of really cool tricks in here. You you have a Nerubian Egg on the board. You kill it with any number of different possibilities, whether that be a Rock Biter or whether that be an Ancestral Spirit. And suddenly you don't just get a Nerubian, you get two Nerubians. Two Nerubians for the price of one is pretty amazing. Uh, there's a bunch of other cards that really benefit from this combo as well. So you say the Haunted Creeper, you coin that out turn one, you follow it up with a Knife Juggler, pow, you run the Haunted Creeper in, Four knives come out, juggle, 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 board gets wiped again. Uh, so there's all kinds of cards in this deck with really good death rattles. So you have the Harvest Golem, who's really strong. Piloted Shredder is incredibly strong. Uh, if you do something like play, reincarnate on it, it just goes boom, Shredder comes out, two other cards come out, and suddenly it's hard to deal with. Belcher is really three taunts now instead of just two. Piloted Sky Golem is spitting out four drops like you wouldn't believe. And one of my favorite plays is Sylvanas. When Sylvanas dies, she takes two cards now. And if you do something just disgusting like reincarnate, you kill her, bring her back to life, and take two of your opponent's cards. So all of the fun that was packed into this deck before that didn't quite work, it's still there. And now it works a lot better. Um, I've won most of my games so far. I think I've lost once, maybe twice with the deck. And it's really strong. Um, some other things it has going for it is we know other people are playing Death Rattles, right? So we're working against that. We have two Earthshocks to shut them down. We have two Owls for some early silencing. Uh, and then we also have two Hexes to take care of, guys. And then just in case a couple of them get away, we have a little Exorcist. So real quick, this is, I consider it a budget deck because most everyone has Sylvanas and Dr. Boom. This is on my budget account. I happen to have a Piloted Sky Golem. It's really not a problem. There's a bunch of cards... Uh, that you could substitute into this deck that would be really strong. Mind control tech is really strong. Most people have a whole board of stuff because of all the death rattles. So you could sub in a mind control tech. Another card that I've seen a lot of people use is Kel'Thuzad. I feel like Kel'Thuzad isn't a great fit for this deck because yes, okay, if everything goes well, he's amazing. But that's always the case with Kel'Thuzad. And you don't really need him here. He's really late game, uh, so we're not going to use him. You could also run Sneed's Old Shredder. I don't have him on this account, uh, but if you do, you could use him. Again, I feel like his upside is tremendous, sure, but he's 8 cost. He's pretty late game. Uh, I don't really feel like we need him. So those are some cards you could sub in for the, the very few legendaries uh, and epics in the deck, but I think most people are going to have a Dr. Boom and a Sylvanas, and then just put in whatever you want for Sky Golem. I have Cairn. Uh, on my main account in for Sky Golem just because I like the consistency that Karen gives you. But any options in these three slots are pretty much fine. All right, so let's go ahead and see the deck at work. Let's see if we can make it do some sick and disgusting things to people. All right, game one against the Druid. He'll have a couple of extra silences with Keeper of the Grove, so that's kind of frustrating. But look at this, we have all kinds of awesome combos. <laughs> We have our, our Creeper into Juggler. We have our early egg combo possibility. We've got all kinds of stuff. I think what we're going to do here is try to do the uh, four Juggles on turn two with a Creeper into Juggler. So we'll see what he does. It looks like he's got a turn one play. Oh, uh-oh. The big Innervate into the Golem. All right. Golem's pretty good for him. Um, it combats what we're trying to do pretty well. We'll go ahead and do it. So we're going to be able to go juggler next turn and finish off the first half of that golem. The problem is, oh, wow, that really actually <laughs> neutralizes what we're trying to do quite well. He was also smart and didn't let us do uh, what we fully wanted to do. But look at this. We do have our reincarnate for our Nerubian. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, next turn, we'll play reincarnate. And hopefully he won't have a silence here. He'd pretty much have to have an owl because we know Keeper's not coming out next turn. And this, I mean, a Creeper to handle the uh, Golem was pretty amazing. All right. Oh, yeah. 
so your egg, that's cute and all. I mean, that's nice, but guess what? I get to trigger my egg on my time because I have reincarnate. Oh, he's going to wrath it. There you go. So he's forced to use a pretty solid removal card on his own card. Oh, wow. He just got scored so hard. So sorry, sir. But get wrecked. And here we go. Boom. We're seeing all the power now. Dun, 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 dun. Two Nerubians. Take care of his guy. Oh, wait. What? Our egg's back. Not too shabby. The next turn we have either Juggler into a Totem or a Golem. Or maybe we pull something off the top that's even better. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Hmm. That's a little worrisome. Um, I wonder if maybe he's got some shenanigans over there. But if he has a Juggler of his own that he's planning on comboing here, that's fine. You go for it. There's a pretty good chance you're going to hit that egg. We're going to go ahead and play the Shredder. Just to have even more madness. Um, there is a problem here that we actually don't have enough space. If he were to kill the Nerubian first, uh, the Nerubian egg, and then go over and kill the Shredder, we actually wouldn't be able to have enough space for everything, but he's not doing it that way. He's actually not going to have enough space for his own spiders, which is quite interesting. Well, I don't think he planned that out quite right. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Swipe's not that terrible. It's not great for us, but it's not that terrible. Uh, looks like we'll be able to go... Juggler into Rock Biter. I think I'm also going to blow up my Shredder and potentially clear the board if this worked out just perfectly. I don't know if it will. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and kill him this way first to get more juggles. And then we're going to get another juggle from our totem as well. So he's, uh, he's in trouble. <laughs> we'll just say that. He's in trouble. He has one card in hand. I'm just wrecking his board. And uh, again, so we're, we're up to four Nerubians. Let's keep track of that. How many Nerubians can we get this game? Four already. Pretty solid. Okay, second swipe gone. That's a pretty good swipe. It, it keeps him in the game. I mean, he was totally blown out before that swipe, so now he's got a chance. He only has one card is the real problem. If he had a whole handful of cards, I'd feel like, well, maybe, maybe we have a game here. All right. He, he agrees. We do not have a game. One foe vanquished. Let's play another one. This deck is so much fun. <clears throat> it's my favorite thing about this, this deck. Um, sometimes the brawls, you're able to, to take that deck that you always wanted to play and couldn't play and can now play it. Um, so I don't know that this is the best deck in this format, but you know what? It's really, really fun. And it's really strong. So when you can combine those two together, uh, I think it's I think that's where you find happiness. All right, so we're going up against a mage. Interesting. We don't have any of our disgusting plays yet. Oh, now we do. Uh, I think we keep. It's an interesting question. We're going to coin out the creeper and then play the juggler, so we won't be able to coin the shredder on three. Um, I th think I'd rather go for an Arubian egg. As crazy as that might sound. And other possibilities. So there we go. We have a three drop also. So we have quite a bit of good stuff set up here. If he's able to get something good of his own early with a with a death rattle, we'll be able to owl it. Probably we're going creeper juggler, unless something really strange happens. Um, it's turn one. There we go. Oh, he's got a leper gnome. Uh, the leper gnome is annoying. Because um, if he really wants to, he can trade off of this creeper now. And he might. And he might consider that worth it. The problem is if he trades off, then whatever he plays this turn, I'll be able to kill with the four uh, spiderlings. So I don't know if it's worth it to him. It's really going to depend on what he has. Okay. All right, so I had an interesting dilemma here. Um... If he had gone ahead and hit the Spiderling, I would have silenced the, the Loot Hoarder. But I feel like this is too strong of a play to pass up on. Wiping his board. And then having four guys of my own. So I'm threatening seven damage. If he uses half of his turn to kill one of them to take me down to six, that's fine. This is, of course, assuming one of them hits, yeah. Uh, so he's, he's hurting pretty quickly here. I gave him the two cards. But I'm hoping that I can push through enough damage to where that 
they're not going to make that much of a difference. And he had two guys. He had two death rattles. So I could have done something like, uh, you know, work to a little exorcist, but this looks pretty strong. I still have four on board. Uh, and now I can go little exorcist, and she'll be buffed. So that's not bad. Uh, I guess the question is, do we hit the leper gnome? Um, I think we do. Unless he has a flame cannon, he would have to take his whole turn and take off the little exorcist now. I think we're okay with that if he wants to. I mean, we don't really have the hand to punish that. We don't have the shredder in hand. Uh, but maybe we'll draw something. Oh, and that's not too bad because we can owl that. <laughs> Another interesting dilemma. Do we owl the card draw? Or do we owl the, the board presence? I think we owl the board presence this game. Yeah, there's just nothing to be gained from that right now. Hopefully we'll have a really crazy play we can make later. So we're going to give him the card draw. And we're going to take away the board presence. Could be a mistake. We've given him a lot of card draw. We could have taken that one away from him. That was just a gift we gave him. I'm going to go ahead and push face. All right. So now we have a really nice curve. With Belcher into Fire Elemental into Dr. Boom. He's going to need to have a really good curve of his own uh, to be able to stand up to this. Okay. Mm, we could reincarnate on the Little Exorcist. I don't think that's worth it. We could also take that, that guy off. I don't think that's worth it. I think we just play a Belcher and uh, move on with our day. We do have enough space still for Belcher Pops. I think we're probably going to end up going just Fire Elemental into Dr. Boom. And hopefully that pressure will just be too much for him to be able to handle. Oh, that's such a great polymorph for us. I'm sure it felt really good for him. He was like, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, but we're thinking exactly the same as we want to be able to curve out. And we're not going to play the Fire Elemental. Instead, I'm going to... He's used both of his... Um, his three-cost ones. So we're going to play this guy. And then we can reincarnate him. He's only played one sheep, though. So, with that in mind, we'll go ahead and do this. Next turn, we'll play Dr. Boom. And then turn 8, we can go Gollum into Reincarnate and just have a full board of stuff. We might not even do that turn 8. We might stall that out because the board might be full um, after our Dr. Boom play. But we have that lurking as like a completely amazing board repopulating play on say turn eight. Maybe, maybe he flame strikes our board. Okay, this is a good spot for Dr. Boom. So we'll drop him quite happily. I think we're just gonna ignore the Golem. Flame strike doesn't clear the board won't clear uh, Dr. Boom. He's in really big trouble. Just Dr. Boom and the Boom bots is probably lethal because they have the double booming now. Um, yeah. And then the Rock Biter giving us three extra. It's going to be really hard. And then if he can somehow, by some miracle, handle his board, we go Sky Golem into Reincarnate. And then he just cries. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Uh, Shaman Power in the new Hearthstone Brawl. So take it for a spin yourself. I really think you're gonna like what you see. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of power here to be had. The deck usually wins. If you need to just go in and grab your quick pack, this is a great deck for that. If you wanted to actually just have some fun playing the Brawl for a while, pretty fun for doing that as well. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again on Tiny Graham's Games.